Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be telling y'all about all the books that I plan to be reading during the Smutathon. <laughs> Here is another round of Smutathon. This is going to be the second time I am participating in this readathon. This readathon is hosted by Riley Marie and Juju Reads Laney. Both of them are linked down below. I absolutely love their channels, so please check them out. So basically, this is a week long readathon where you read steamy romance books. There is a bingo board that you can use to help guide you in the readathon and I have picked out a book for each challenge of the bingo board and this readathon I believe goes from the 4th of January to the 11th. Okay so this is a very loose TBR. I am moving into my new apartment on the 6th, have orientation for my new school on the 7th and 8th, and basically I'm going to be in a new town, at a new school, doing new things for that whole week. That's when I get introduced to a new city and move to a new town and go to a new school. So I'm probably not going to read a lot during this week, but I wanted to put a TBR out there anyway for myself, I guess. So for the Enemies to Lovers challenge, I have The Bet by Rachel Van Dyken. I got this book off of Book Outlet months ago and I've never picked it up and it's fairly short. So this is about Casey and her childhood best friend asks her to pretend to be engaged to him because his grandmother is dying and basically he wants to make his grandmother's dream come true with having them married. But then when she goes to see Jake's grandmother with him, Travis is still there who is Jake's older brother who she absolutely hates and I believe it is a romance between Travis and Casey. It might be a romance between Casey and Jake. I have no idea actually. Maybe it's a love triangle. I have no idea. Um, I don't know a lot about this book. It sounds super duper interesting though. Really cute. I love the fake engagement part to appease his grandma. I think that's super duper sweet. So this one does sound interesting and hopefully I will get to this in the readathon. For new to you author, I have Heidi's Guide to Four Letter Words by Tara Civic. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I'm so sorry if I'm mistaken. I don't know much about this book. I know that it is available on Audible Escape and it is very short. So that's the main reason why I picked it for this readathon. I believe Heidi becomes a narrator for erotic books by accident maybe and she's trying to get used to narrating those things so she makes a podcast where she reads romance books I'm pretty sure I heard great things about this book from Shelby from Shelby Taggart Reads hopefully I'll love this one too for 2019 release I have learned my lesson by Katie Robert I had no idea that this book was even out <laughs> I read I believe it's called Desperate Measures which was the first book in this Disney villain romance series <laughs> last year and really enjoyed it I learned about it from Riley Marie and I had no idea that it was out already until I watched Riley's Smutathon TBR video and I was like oh my gosh I need to read that. So basically this is going to be a romance between Hades and Meg like from Hercules but then Hercules is also interwoven into the relationship. I'm really excited. I really 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 enjoyed the first one. For the LGBTQ plus category I have IRL in Real Life by Lucy Lennox and Molly Maddox. This is a male-male relationship and a guy accidentally sends a steamy pic, I believe to the wrong number, and it turns out that he accidentally sent that photograph to his boss. And then his boss finds out that it's him and it's their relationship. So it could also work for an office romance. That sounded really intriguing to me. Hopefully I read this one during the readathon. For the forbidden romance category, I have The End Zone by LJ Shen. This one might be stretching it in the for forbidden aspect. I couldn't really find a forbidden one that I hadn't already used for the other prompts of the TBR so maybe I'll end up doubling up if this one doesn't really fit the bill for that. It's a romance between a girl and a guy and they have been best friends for a very long time. I think childhood best friends and she has feelings for him but she could never act on them because he's her best friend and he is also a quarterback so it's a sports romance and they're roommates so I guess it's kind of forbidden because they're roommates and they don't want to ruin their relationship or something might be stretching it I'm sorry if I am but I think it kind of fits the bill for forbidden romance for the category of workplace romance I have attachments by Rainbow Rowell I recently purchased this book and am so excited to get into it I love Rainbow Rowell and I want to read more of her backlist titles so 
this is the start. This is about our main character named Lincoln, whose job is to read other people's emails. So he's basically like an internet security officer, so he tracks a company's emails, and he basically falls for this woman through the emails to her best friend. Like, they're not communicating at all. He falls for this girl. He falls for this woman just by reading her emails. I'm very excited for what this book entails. It's fairly short, so hopefully I will get to this in this readathon. For the category of recommended to you, I have The High Women by Kerrigan Byrne. Jess from Peace Love Books raves about this book. And if Jess raves about a book, I need to read it. I purchased this book a while ago, but then I ended up gifting Melissa from the channel Melissa H. I ended up gifting this book to her for Christmas. It was on her Christmas wish list. So we have decided to buddy read this during this month-a-thon. So I'm super duper excited to read this with her. I've heard great things. I honestly have no idea what this book is about. All I know is that it's a historical romance book. That's it. That's all I know. But I know that Jess loves it. So hopefully I will too. And I'm gonna have so much fun buddy reading this with Melissa, whose channel will be linked down below. Please go check out her channel. For the category of fake dating or fake marriage trope, I have 30 Day Boyfriend by Whitney G. I got this off of Audible Escape and it's only two hours and 40 minutes, so a fairly quick read. Uh, okay, so it says that this woman's boss came to her with an offer that she couldn't refuse, sign her name on a dotted line to pretend to be his fiance for one month. If she agrees, he would let her out of her employment contract with a very generous severance package. And there's like a bunch of rules they have to follow for them to be in this fake relationship. And I guess it's them actually falling for each other in that 30 day time span. That sounds really intriguing. A very quick read, so hopefully I will love this one. I haven't really read a lot of fake dating books, so maybe I'll really love this one and we'll have one to recommend to y'all. And for the last category, read a book out of your comfort zone, I have Born Darkly by Trisha Wolf. People on booktube in the romance community talk about this book all the time. They say that this is a great book to start in with the dark romance genre. So I am open to read any kind of romance, but I have yet to get into the dark romance genre. So this is kind of out of my comfort zone because I am not used to it. I believe this is a romance between a guy who's in a psychiatric ward or something and his therapist? It kind of reminds me of Harley Quinn and the Joker. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that is the right summary, so don't count me on that. But people rave about this book, so hopefully I will be able to rave about it as well. So there you have it. Those are all of the books that I will hopefully read during the Smetathon for this round. Let me know down below if you plan to participate or if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. I'd love to know. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.